guys enjoyed episode four in Savannah, Georgia. Now, this is our last episode of MD's Gin Mill Channel Summer 2022 Road Trip. And we are in St. Augustine, Florida, and this is such a great party. We're going to show you some great places along the beach. We're going to show you a haunted pub crawl ghost tour. That was so much fun. And also some never before seen footage of our trip to St. Augustine last year. So thanks for tuning in and we hope you enjoy the show. Cheers. We are in St. Augustine Beach and I am keeping my toes in the sand. So we started out at Salt Life Food Shack and you guys, they've got three locations around Florida, all beaches, so really cool. And a great view from their second story. You can see the beach, the lifeguard stand, everything. It's cool. Also, ice cold beer. Just check out this tap system. It's amazing. You definitely want to check this place out. Just a bit south down A1A is the Sunset Grill, and I came here last night and was so impressed. The staff, the food, etc. So much so, I came back and even got an interview with the general manager. Take a look. Hi, I'm Mary Don with MD's General Channel, and we are in St. Augustine, Florida. And not downtown St. Augustine, we are out on the beach because I swore I was going to keep my feet in the sand all the way down from New York, and I have. So this is one of our last stops before we head back. So I said, I need to go out and have a good meal. And like you guys have been following along, you know that it's been tough out there this last month with everything that's been going on. And I took a meander down A1A here, and I found the Sunset Grill. Now, I heard about it last year when I was in town, but I didn't get to make it out to the beach. So I had to stop last night, and boy, was I happy. And I just happen to have with me here, Tony G, the general manager of Sunset Grill. How are you doing? Really good, thank you good for you uh, with meeting us. with us. It's Absolutely. a hot day. Absolutely, yeah, it's, uh, it's a late July day, and uh, it's great to be up here with the breeze. It's perfect, it's a good accompaniment to a I've got to one, a of pain your, killer. one of your uh, Havana dreams. Oh yeah, even better. This is amazing. What do you know what's in this? Yeah, we use a uh, local St. Augustine rum from one of our local distilleries. Uh, we use like a cocoa, a, a cocoa lopo mix, cocoa lopez mix, uh, some nutmeg, uh, and then it's like a little bit of pineapple juice and it's shaking really well and it's, it's right out of it's, Cuba. Yeah, we've been serving that for a few years now. I think that's the second one we had today. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's not it's me personally. Perfect time of year to have. So. This is a family-run business. Right. Uh, the my older brother and his partner, Mike and Pete, they've they've had a good a good constitution together for a long time. They've been together here since 1990. Uh, they got a good vision to bring, you know, a good quality meal and some good beach vibes and kind of capture them both. Let people be able to relax, but at the same time, you know, enjoy better food than just some local beach pub or some you know paper plate type of food. And you're open later. Yes, we don't really have a set closing time. We close when the you know when the volume slows down and the last person waiting to eat is fed. I'll tell you, like I said last night, uh, I came in here. Not only was I greeted with absolute friendliness, which again has been a little tough in this last month that we've been out traveling around the East Coast of the United States, but your menu's great, and I saw you know older people coming in at 9, 30, 10 o'clock asking for a, a menu. And that's just, I love seeing that. It yeah. makes me so happy. What would you say is your best selling food item? So we, we take a lot of pride on our seafood. Uh, believe it or not, uh, we have a, there's about three or four things that are top selling. To pick one would be unfair. Absolutely, hands down, the two things that we're known for are uh, the New England clam chowder. Uh, we got awards for, for one of the best chowders around. And then we've got a great coconut shrimp. And we had that last do, night. Right, a lot of people do coconut shrimp, but we have a story behind ours, and you know we do it right with the great sauce, and I, I pop them like they're little candies, so I, I love it. <laughs> so we're getting ready to head downtown. We're doing a haunted 
pub crawl ghost tour tonight. Oh, perfect. Spooky. I'm, I'm so excited to try this out. Again, I wanted to do it last year, but with the rain, it didn't work out. Okay. So, I did a live show from the second story of Scarlett O'Hara's last year. It was creepy yeah. weird up there. Yeah. But now it's gone. Yeah. So, Scarlett O'Hara's was a great place for so long. I remember when I first moved here, it was one of the places to go. You meet it. If you went downtown from the beach, it was like kind of an event. So we'd all rush to get down there because they were open up a little bit later than us. Mm. And we'd rush down to Scarlett House and it was a great meeting place. You'd, you'd meet, you know, people that were from tourists to college kids in that area to, to local people. And it was striving for a long time. But, uh, it's, you know, just like other places that have met some staffing issues, rising costs of doing business, um, you know, combined with consumer changes and, and market different needs, uh, I don't. I don't think that they could uh, evolve as much as they they should have or even wanted to. And I don't know personally, firsthand, what went down, but it just seems like there's a lot of places downtown that are doing better. There's more modern, and well, I think it's a to, sign of the times. Got to roll the times exactly. And I wonder, I wonder if I'm gonna see any ghosts in those windows tonight. Yeah, it's been known to have some haunts. Uh, I know Saint Augustine is full of history and full of. Uh, uh, you, you know some good stories that could provoke some imagination so if you look hard enough and you believe hard enough you'll, you'll find what you're looking for ever seen a ghost here uh not firsthand but i did go on those ghost tours and uh, i spook easy <laughs> so if i did see anything like that uh i'd be the first one out of there maybe maybe i shouldn't have that many drinks yeah you want to make sure that you keep a level head so your imagination <laughs> doesn't run wild but it's no fun without a, without drinking a hand you know that's true that's right. true so all right, so we're going to head down there, and I thank you so much for talking with us. It's and been a true pleasure. Thank you for uh, feeding us wonderfully last night. You're welcome. We appreciate oh. the uh, publicity and hope to see your listeners and your viewers. Hopefully, you can come and give us another chance, to, or a first chance. Absolutely. To see what we're all about, and don't forget to ask for me, and I've got a wonderful staff. Yes, you do. And uh, I look forward to them serving you and enjoying some beach time. All right, well. Cheers. Cheers from St. Augustine Beach. St. Augustine, I wanted to have a quick little pre-tale before my ghost tour, so I stopped at the Teeny Martini Bar, which is really cool. It's located inside the Casablanca Inn, which dates back to 1914, and this place is restored to perfection. It has 22 luxurious guest rooms and all the really neat original fixtures, and definitely a neat place to check out. As you know, I always try to find the oldest bar, and I found it. Tradewinds Lounge, which is the oldest lounge in the oldest city. And the way I found it was my Uber driver who told us about it because his daughter Amber works there, and she was our bartender. How cool is that? She was awesome. Shout out to Amber at Tradewinds. Just check out the old Budweiser paraphernalia hanging all around the bar. It's really neat. Special shout out to my new friend Pork Chop, who wanted me to check out the Good Times Dog Bar in Flagler Beach, but unfortunately I couldn't fit my bus in the parking lot. Don't go anywhere, coming up next, our haunted pub crawl. But first, never before seen footage from here, St. Augustine, last year. You're watching FD Steel Channel from St. Augustine, Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Last year, we did our live show from upstairs at Scarlett O'Hara's. Remember that creepy bathtub where apparently somebody died in there? Well, sadly, it is closed for good. Check out the Ice Plant Bar and Restaurant. Now, this is located in an actual building that used to be an ice plant back in the 1920s. It's really neat. There's also a distillery and a tasting room on premise. 
It's a Florida straight bourbon, 88 proof, aged a minimum of three years on flagship bourbon. Cheers. Post. Now last year, unfortunately, our trip to St. Augustine was cut a little bit short due to the terrible torrential downpours that were happening. There were people screaming and yelling on the tram we were on and we were sopping wet. It was kind of fun. After that tram ride, I needed a nice meal and we ended that night at the Columbia Restaurant, which dates back to 1905. Check out the decor, the bar, the fountains, it's very unique. I finally got my ghost tour. Last year with the rain, it was impossible, but this year we did a haunted pub crawl ghost tour. It was so cool. Our first stop was Stogie's Cigar Bar, and that's kind of interesting because I own a bar in Port St. Lucie, Florida called Bogie's and Stogie's Cigar Bar, so this one was cool. Anyways, the legend has it that there was gentlemen upstairs, a group of guys, playing a game of poker on the second story when a big fire broke out and none of them made it out alive. So to this day, people report still smelling smoke and hearing the clink of the poker chips and the ruffling of the cards, but who knows? I didn't hear it that night. So we all grouped up and continued down the street and that was that part was really fun, and we stopped at Harry's Restaurant, and legend there has it that there is a young girl that had her bedroom upstairs on the second story in the back, which is now a woman's bathroom, and she doesn't like it when you're up in her bedroom. So when you go to the bathroom, strange things could happen. There's all sorts of scary and crazy and creepy stories throughout the streets of St. Augustine. Some even started at the Cathedral of St. Augustine, which we made a quick stop by. Our tour guide, Debbie, was outstanding and she had every story down. Anyways, this is a story about Bishop Barreau. Now, uh, this is an actual, factual story. We headed down some different streets and some of the bars we were supposed to go into, we couldn't get in because they were so crowded. So we opted to go down to all of our favorite bar, the No Name Bar, which had a great band playing. And you know, all the people on the tour with us that we started with, we had such a great time. Now we're great friends and we had an awesome party that night. So cheers to our new friends from St. Augustine and cheers to No Name Bar. the show this is where it ends and I just want to say thank you to St. Augustine and all the cool people we met our new friends in St. Augustine cheers to you guys and also from the vineyards in New York State to all the different pieces of sand that my toes met down the eastern seaboard thank you to everyone and we'll see you on our next tour wherever that may be Thank you to our title sponsor, Exchange of America, Booze Bandage, Inkhead Graphics for the amazing rap on the bus, KG Pro for the inside of the bus, Bogies and Stogies, and the Gin Mill in Florida. Hey guys, it's Mary Dawn with MD's Gin Mill channel. Don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys.